All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah HaKadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all your brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heavy Honor 144, GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp. Just coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. And getting to this video today, um, I just wanted to touch basis on the fact that you have many, many, many dudes of the circumcision that are perverting the gospel, that are in the spirit of of leaning on their own understanding and pretty much, man, they're going away from the doctrine which they have learned, man. All right. Because you have just for instance, you have uh, uh, the, uh, for, for instance, you have uh, that guy, uh, Nathaniel, the, 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 the guy that's the head over IUIC, you know, at one point in time, he was speaking the correct doctrine, man. All right. Now you fast forward to now he's not speaking that doctrine anymore, man. And then you have uh, your local pastors. A lot of your local pastors, they know that we are the Hebrew Israelites. But guess what? They aren't speaking according to this doctrine, man. All right. And and not only that, just on so many uh, um, levels and on so many just all these so-called religions, man, they know the true spirit of, of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. But they're under that 501c3 charter which is a, a government grant contract, meaning that if you teach a pose uh, 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 of what you are obligated due to the contract to speak of, they're going to cut your money off, man. All right. And see, a lot of guys have received that bag, man. All right. And so money, that's why the scriptures speak about money is the root of all evil, man. All right. Because you have a lot of guys that for that filthy lucre sake for that money, man, They'll sell, they'll sell anyone out, man. All right. They'll, they'll sell, they'll sell their own mama out, man. All right. Their own mom, their, their dad, their children, just so they can uh, fulfill that, uh, that lust of having that money, man. All right. And inevitably it goes into these guys don't believe and they don't have that fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But here at Great Millstone, beginning with our apostles and our elders, we are obligated through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to do what? Mark those that cause divisions contrary to the doctrine which we have learned, man. All right. And in a lot of this doctrine that these guys speak of, man, it causes nothing but a whole bunch of strife and confusion, man. And now that we in the age of uh, understanding and receiving information, hey, why would you want to keep uh, the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans in the dark, man? Only reason that these so-called leaders want to keep our people in the dark is so they can continue to receive their goodie bags, man, their goodie purses, man. But, hey, with that being said, we're going to hit a few scriptures, man, because, hey, this is the time that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans should be doing a diligent, uh, doing their, their due diligence and, and seeking the Lord, man. All right? They, this is the time where this is not the time to be taking things for face value. This is the time to be looking things up, man. This is not the time to be loathing the, 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 the spirit right now, man. Just loathing and relaxing. This is the time to be actually looking into those things that you that you learn about, man. All right? Because too many of our people still are going to these churches and not looking up anything that your goddamn pastor is up in the pulpit sweating and hooping and hollering about, man. All right. And how much more in the circumcision? You even got guys that's in the circumcision. That's not um, uh, you have uh, uh, people that know they're Israelites. All right. Uh, particularly talking to the men that know that they're Israelites, but they still aren't doing their due diligence of doing their searching. Man, they're still just taking uh, uh, these so-called leaders, uh, um, these so-called leaders uh, voice for um you know, they're, they're just taking uh, what they're saying for face value. But let's get our first scripture, man. All right. This is Romans chapter 16 and 17. We're going to start there. This is the book of Romans chapter 16, verse 17. And it reads, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So the scriptures tell us to mark them. 
And this mark right here means it, it goes into uh, Scopeo. Let's put it on the screen real quick. Let's go in the uh, blue letter real quick. This is the book of Romans chapter 16 and 17. Let's see what this definition for mark is. Because this is not the mark that uh, Revelation 13 and 16 is talking about as far as the Karagma mark. This is that mark of Scopeo. Let's see. Strong's G, 4648, Scopeo. Scopeo. Okay. And so it says Scopeo, to observe, to look at, contemplate. All right. So um, to take aim at, regard, consider, take heed, compare. All right. So when you um add that in, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them. Scopeo, all right, observe, pay attention, take heed to them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them, all right? And in, in, in the year 2023, all right, you have people that are compromising because here it is, uh, 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 before we knew we were Hebrew Israelites, all right, before we before the, the Lord gave us that breath again, even in my, in um, so when we were in the world, Hey, I knew that being a god dog on uh, Funny Bunny, the Lord was not pleased with that, man. I knew that uh, uh, tattoos and markings, hey, the Lord wasn't cool with that, man. All right? Now, um, and it's, 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 it's some things that, that we knew through the Spirit that the Lord was not was not cool with, man. But now you have, uh, uh, in the year 2023, people are, are fine with uh, people having their own so-called lifestyles uh, if they want to be a funny bunny you know what i'm saying that's 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 totally going off man at one point in time a that that a people would would mark and 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 tell people hey uh, stay away from this person stay away from that person but now they're in that spirit of come as you are and the lord just accepts anything and that's totally a lie man that's bogus man and 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 being in the true spirit of yahweh shy that's why the scripture that we just read it says mark them all right, that uh, mark them that cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which which ye have learned and avoid them. All right, because anytime you have a guy saying that the that the Lord did not perform miracles, that Yahweh didn't perform miracles, that's a guy you got to mark and avoid. Anytime you have an individual saying that the famine is not going to come and that Jacob's trouble is not going to come and that the MOTB is not a real thing, man, that's a guy you got to mark and you got to avoid them because. Hey, the scriptures tell us to be what occupying their prophecies, man. And anytime a guy is pretty much speaking about prosperity and not speaking on prophecies, hey, that's a guy that you gotta avoid as well too. Because if you're if uh, if you're speaking on the name of Yahweh Shai, all right, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, you're going to be in the spirit of prophecy, uh, pursuant to Revelation 19 and 10, all right. Because hey, Yahweh Shai, uh, Hamashiach is the spirit of prophecy. So if a guy isn't speaking prophecy, hey, we got to mark him because, hey, those are offenses uh, contrary to the doctrine which we have learned because, hey, this doctrine is all about uh, a prophecy and it's all about reproving, correcting, and giving sound instructions, man. So if they're not giving sound instructions, then guess what? We're going to mark them and we're going to and we're going to avoid them. We're going to tell our people, don't listen to this individual because he's not coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now it says, for they, Romans 16 and 18, for they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. And, and that's what we have going on with guys in the circumcision, and especially with these, um, these false prophets and these false pastors, they deceive the minds of the people, all right, the simple ass people, man. With their with their uh with their uh, uh fair speeches, all right. Because these guys will get you all riled up, and they'll be doing all like I said, that hooting and hollering, and and having the piano player play while they while they uh you know they know how to, they know how to uh, emotionally move Jake, man. No different from Esau, man. That's why why do you think Esau gives these people five hundred one c three charter because he 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 gives them a, a blueprint and a doctrine of what to and how to keep your congregation uh, uh, so-called pleased and at the same time 
you know, this devil, this is the devil we're speaking of, man. All right, we're talking about the guy that, uh, that this devil that has taken crafty counsel against the Lord's chosen people, man. Thy hidden ones, man. So in the midst of this devil taking crafty counsel, the scriptures tell us in Psalms that his eyes are privily set against the poor, man. All right. And uh, uh, and with that devil eyes privily set against the poor, he's been uh, learning and observing things that that to influence and um and how to um somewhat uh try to uh manipulate the minds of the people man the scriptures tell us also that uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities man rulers of darkness in high places man all right and and that, and that's what esau d does man all right and if this gospel is here it is hit to them that are lost whom the god of this world has deceived their minds who, who who has deceived their minds man and esau is, is quote unquote the god of this world man all right because uh, he's in control of everything man he's in control of everything man so this is why we tell our people and hey, you got to avoid those ones that do not come in the true spirit of yahweh bashim yahweh shai man if they're not speaking against this place hey then guess what they're not coming in the true spirit of yahweh bashim yahweh shai as we just read, man, they not they don't look to serve our Lord and our Savior Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. They're looking to serve the, the, their own goddamn bellies, man. They love receiving the fr uh, the, the the frns and all the goodie bags, and they love uh, uh pretty much as the scriptures tell us these are hirelings, man, who don't even care about the sheep, man. All right, they don't they 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 love to deceive the simple. They look at our people and be like, look at this, man. You want to see how to um fill this collection plate up? And get the organ player to play this music, and they do all this, ah, and just crazy stuff, man. Like I remember, you know, as, as I'm, I'm, I'm sure you brothers and, and you feel sisters as well. You know, uh, when, whenever the uh, going to church and he just hooping and hollering, and they got the piano is playing and just working on the minds of the people, man. All right, because they know that Jake is, uh, you know, that's why they got the music and the drums, and they got to do all this, uh, this extra stuff to uh, 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 make you feel at ease, man, all right? When, when truth be told, the words of the Lord is the only thing that we need to be at ease, man, because this is the lovely song, man, these words, these scriptures, man, all right? But um, let's get real quick. Let's go to Titus. I'm not going to make this a long lesson through the Spirit. Let's go to Titus, and uh, let's read uh, Titus. Titus chapter 1, we're going to start at verse uh, 10, where it says, um, For there be many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. So the scriptures let us know that there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Guys, they know that they're Hebrew Israelites, man. All right. And in this world, man, there are many false prophets, man. All right. Vain talkers, man. All right. Unruly. And vain talkers, meaning that they're not coming in the spirit of the Most High, meaning that they're leaning on their own understanding, looking to fulfill the lust of their own belly, their own, you know, their own gratification, their own satisfaction. They don't do things uh, uh, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. They do things in in the, in the spirit of themselves, man, just to please their flesh, and they, and they perceive in themselves as if they're some type of supreme teacher, and and, and it's just madness, man. All right, and once again. They, they love to deceive the people, man. All right. Now it says, whose mouths must be stopped. First, uh, uh, what is Titus 1 and 11? Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things they ought not for filthy lucre's sake, man. And this is what these guys do. These unruly and these vain talkers for with the fair speeches, they teach a lot of things with that they ought not to teach, man. That's why as we just read, hey, we got to mark them and avoid them, man. Because these guys teach all these blasphemed things all for filthy lucre's sake, all for filthy money and that fame and that fortune. And just so they can have that feeling of, you know, vanity, man, that they're that guy, man. All right. Now, when you jump down to 16, it says Titus 1 and 16, they profess that they know Yahweh, but in their works, they deny him being abominable and disobedient. And unto every good work reprobate. So here it is, these people, these same individuals of the circumcision and, the, and, and, and your local pastor and all these so-called uh, prophets, which are false prophets. Hey, man, 
they profess that they know the Lord because they'll be like, oh, I know God, and they'll quote a few scriptures, you know, but and, and will definitely break them down wrong, interpret, and, and have the people's minds all screwed up, all right, because because they're breaking them down wrong, all right, but they profess that they know my, the, the Lord, all right, but in their works, they deny him. How are they denying him? Because they don't take time out to study, man. How are they being abominable? Because these same guys that give these fair speeches and these vain and unruly talkers, they'll tell you how much they love the Lord. And then after church is all wrapped up, hey, now they go into the mess hall or to the kitchen and telling you to come down and let's eat together. And hey, next thing you know, you you eating ham. You got fried chicken with green beans with ham and pork all in it. You know what I'm saying? Or, or they got the kids eating uh, uh, pork-based hot dogs and, you know, just a whole bunch of bullshit, man. All right. So their works, you know, then, then these same individuals play the whole role about, oh, let's get back to charity. But your charitable acts are not truly charitable acts, man. All right. Because you're charging, doing everything uh, uh, that's pretty much uh, reprobate, man. All right. Because as freely as you receive, you're supposed to give back, man. All right. And these guys don't give things for free. All right. They're, they're going to charge for every goddamn thing, man. That's why it says, but in their works, they deny him being abominable and disobedient and to every good work reprobate, man. All right. These guys don't know. They don't have a, a, a an intention to do good because their mind frame is to do what? To deceive the, the minds of the simple. And so they can keep getting rolling in that dough, man. Keep rolling in that dough. All right. Now, one thing about these uh these these sinful guys that the scriptures tell us. Real quick, let's get uh Sirach. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 32 and 17, because the scripture said, mark them and avoid them, all right? And, and through the spirit, you know, we're supposed to be reproving and rebuking them. And, and these guys, you would think that these individuals would consider their ways and try to get right with the most high. But this is typically the spirit of these guys right here. This is Ecclesiastes, Sirach, chapter 32 and 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but find up an excuse according to his will. Going back into they want to fulfill the lust of their own belly, man. All right. So whenever we mark these individuals and tell our people to avoid them, that they don't serve our Lord and Savior, man. And then we try to correct these guys being in the spirit of open rebuke is better than secret love. Hey, these guys that do what, man? They, they don't want to be reproved. They don't want to be corrected. And they're always going to find an excuse according to their will, man. All right. And and, and, and the scriptures tell us about um into a malicious soul. And you can't enter this wisdom and knowledge anyway, man. So the Lord has these guys blocked anyway, man. So they can't even receive the true spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And, then, and once again, even once you, re, you try to reprove them and correct them, they're going to come with every excuse under the sun. They're going to try to come with, uh, try to combat. Even when you go to the scriptures and tell them where they're going off and show them what the Lord requires, hey, they'll try to go to scriptures and try to cut you, man. All right. All right. Imagine trying to get cut from a guy that got a clean face, dreadlocks. All right. No beard on his face. Once again, eating a goddamn ham sandwich. But holding the Bible, man, trying to cut you, man. And this is the type of energy that these guys have, man. All right, wearing these goddamn uh, uh, suits and and uh, them big ass uh, robes that they be wearing, man. Trying, man, it's just a whole bunch of, of bullshit, man. All right, because you can't even you can't even correct the guy about uh, a dietary law or about his uh, facial uh, appearance or, or him getting lineups without him making a doggone excuse, man. All right, that's why the scriptures just said a sinful man will not be reproved. All right, because a sincere man of uh, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, he's going to take the correction, man. He's going to take the uh, uh, he's going to uh, uh, take the rebuke cheerfully, man. All right, and make the corrections that he needs to make, man. He's not going to be looking for excuses or why he why he got to get a line up and why he don't have a uh, uh, a facial hair and, and and why he still is eating abominable foods and so on and so on, man. All right, the scripture says a simple man will not be reproved. But find up an excuse according to his will, leaning on his own understanding, man. All right. And inevitably, I quoted it earlier. Let's get it real quick. Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 4. Scriptures say, For into a malicious soul shall not, for, for into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. All right. So that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is not going to enter into a body 
that's uh, uh that they just con consistently and consecutively wants to transgress transgress the law that wants to make it an excuse that doesn't want to consider the ways that Yahweh by Shema Bashai. That true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is not even going to dwell in that body, man. All right, and see, once again, that's not the true wisdom and the true knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Bashai. If you have a guy with that type of demeanor and that type of attitude that doesn't want to get corrected, that uh, uh that, that that looks for excuses all the damn time, all right, and, and, and that's on this, uh, uh, leaning on his own understanding, so on and so on, man, all right, because, um, let's get this real quick, inevitably, man, all that, all that type of energy comes from, you know, being under the, under the vibration of this wicked ass earth, man, all right, the scriptures tell us that in James 3, let's read James 3 and 13, let's start there, where it says, um, who is a wise man and a dude with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. All right. Now, that's the question. Who is a wise man and a dude with knowledge among you, man? All right. And in today's term and in today's time, hey, the wise men of Yahweh Bashim al Shai are our apostles and our elders and sincere brothers, man. All right. Because, A, hey, they don't do not. They show. They're good, uh, uh, show out of good conversation that works with meekness of wisdom, man. All right. Because our apostles and our elders, they're very meek, man. All right. They're very humble. OK, that's a humble individual not being proud, man. All right. Our apostles and our elders, man. And see, that's why the Lord has given them as examples, man. All right. Unlike these other uh, uh, false leaders, man. All right. That want to be going out of the country, going to uh, uh, Scotland to go uh uh, eat at uh, King James uh, Castle, all right, or coming to the Passover, making it a fashion show, riding in on a horse, all right, that doesn't seem like a man that's endured with meekness, man, all right, these guys wearing these immaculate garments, all right, having these mega churches, all right, passing the collection plate around three and four times, charging for breakdowns, charging for for, the, for entries, uh, uh, having uh, functions at your um at your harlot, uh, at the church, so-called churches, and uh, uh, but you're charging for every goddamn thing, man. That doesn't seem like a guy that's meek, man. All right, driving a big fancy uh, Cadillac, a uh, Escalade, a uh, Range Rover, Mercedes, whatever it is, and and your congregations uh, catching Ubers and and riding in uh, hoopties and whatnot. That doesn't seem like an individual that that's meek, man. All right. Let's continue on. Who is a wise man? James 3 and 13. Who is a wise man and a dude with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envy and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. And a lot of these guys, man, especially of the circumcision, they have a lot of envy and strife in their hearts, in their minds, man. Because when we try to correct them, as we just read, they will not be uh, a simple man, will not be reproved, man. All right, because why? They 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 have they they envy, man. All right, and they have a whole lot of strife in their minds, man. All right, and then inevitably they 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 attempt to lie about the truth, but the truth is the truth, man. You can't do anything against the truth, but all for the truth, man. All right. Now it says this wisdom descendeth, James three and fifteen. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. You see that? So anytime you have envy and strife going on. In these uh in these other camps and in, in, in your congregation and all this uh, uh lies against the truth that's not the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Shai. that's earthly wisdom man all right sensual devilish man all right and 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 going back to the uh, churches right quick man you see the what what goes on in these churches man they they got shows like uh that show Greenview to show you what those churches are all about man all right you you always see they they have movies and shows uh, about uh, Cause I remember First Friday, I think it's called First Friday or First Sunday, Ice Cube film, and they was pretty much showing these robbers coming in, to, trying to rob the church, and then at the end they did some 360 when everybody's just getting along, getting along. But that's not the spirit of the Most High, man. All right, coming in, coming in the uh, uh, so-called the house of the Lord and with your gun waving, trying to get money and all this crazy stuff, man. But they always, and, and, and a lot of Hollywood production uh, movies, they always show the black church and show the, how they're making a mockery of the uh, of the uh, so-called Negroes churches, man. All right, showing you how 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 it's looked out looked at as a goddamn 
as a goddamn uh, a place of entertainment, man. Hell, look at the so-called Tyler Perry movies, man. He's always, first of all, he dressed like a goddamn woman, but he always got some type of church scene in there, man, where they're always making fun of of of, of church, man. All right, because in ho- that because that's what Hollywood and that's what uh, most of our people relate to church as being, man. All right, just entertainment, man. All right, no sincere fear of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and as the scripture said, that's sensual, earthly, devilish, man. That does not descend from the heavenly Father, man. All right, for where let's continue on James three and sixteen. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. And you see that there's a lot of that going on in these uh false uh false leaders congregation. And, uh, and, and all these false prophets are a congregation, man. A whole lot of envy and strife and confusion and every evil work. And we see the evil works that take place, man. All right. We see the pride on these guys, man. We see the uh, uh, um, just the scattering of the flocks. All right. We see the, uh, the, the, the turning and twisting of the doctrine. All right. The true doctrine. Once again, that's why we got to tell our people. That's why through the spirit we mark them and we avoid them. And we got to tell our people that, man. All right. Now let's continue on. It says, but the wisdom, James 3 and 17, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits without part, part, partiality and without hip, hypocrisy. All right. So hey, the words of the Lord are going to be pure, man. They're going to make sense, man. Those pure living waters, man. You're okay, and it's going to be gentle, man. It's going to be, and you're going to get it, man. It's all everything is going to make sense. As the scriptures tell us, hey, the Lord said He's going to give us pastors after His mind. It's going to feed us with knowledge and understanding. All right. So pretty much the words of the Lord is going to be, uh, you, you, you're going to know, you're going to know the words of the Lord because hey, you're going to, you're going to see the difference in your life, man. You're going to see the difference in, in your walk of faith, man. All right. And it's just simple like that, man. Until the uh, in the election, they're going to obtain it. Abarach is out. We pray that with that election, that's going to that's that's obtaining it, all right? Because we can clearly see a two thirds of our people are in that blind state of mind, man. All right, they're in that they, they love that sensual, they love that strife, man. Most of our people love drama, man. That's why they that's why they look at a sincere men beginning with our apostles and our elders as like, oh, y'all so boring, man. All right, but hey, that's cool. We don't mind being boring, man. Because guess what? Hey, we're doing what we're, what we're commanded to do through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem man. All right, hey, it's a lonely, hey, hey, it's one one at a time, man. It's a lonely road, man. All right, we're not on that so called Broadway, man, where everybody and doing what everybody else is doing, man. It takes a real man to uh to do this right here, man. All right, beginning with our apostles and our elders being that perfect example, man, of being true followers of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. All right, and it says uh, once again, but th but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, because hey, we found that peace of mind with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Because now everything makes sense. We know who our enemies are. We know what the Lord requires, and we know what to do, uh, uh, what to do, and what not to do, man. All right, and 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 um, full, and, and we and, and we know the Lord has had has had in it and continues to have mercy on us because look at all the stupid shit that we were involved in before the Lord uh, 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 opened up our eyes to this true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding what true wisdom is, man. All right. So the Lord is full of, of mercy, man, good fruits and without partiality and without hypocrisy, man, because, hey, man, we're not hypocrites of the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Hey, these words we believe are faithful and true and we're being hearers and doers of the words. All right. And it says, and the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. And our righteous eye, we pray that we're that righteous, that the Lord is going to redeem and save, man. All right. But as I said, this was a very quick video. Our righteous eye has been edifying and good nourishment to the house of David, man, because hey, we're in the times right now, man, where, hey, we got to just stay away. We got to stay on, on, on this straight and narrow track, man. All right. And, and once again, election. And we pray that we're those men. And we're going to continue to do that. We're going to continue to continue to pray to the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai. Continue to put our trust in the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai. All right, because hey, the Lord is not going to fail us, man. All right, now two thirds of our people are going to go in the ways of the world, man. All right, because they love that strife, that envy, and pretty much that drama, man. 
All right. And that's going to be to their detriment because, hey, that's going to because the Lord is not cool with the ways of this world, man. All right, so I've arrived to side. This video has been good edification and good nourishment to the house of David. So I want to close by saying, Call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekah Hakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time, I do say Shalom.